Hello everyone, well let's give this a go then, for Grandad's sanity let's hope we get them straight. First job is to give the panels a quick test to make sure that they all work before we actually stick them down because I don't think once they are down they're going to be very easy to get up again. Yeah, that's on that pencil line now. So if you pull some of that back and then stick that down. about three or four inches then. Yeah. Remember to push it in the middle, not at the edge of the Stick down panels seem to be either a love-hate thing. Um, those that have got them seem to seem to like them, and and those that haven't seem to Avoid not. Them. <laughs> um, I think Avoid. there's uh, good bits and bad bits. Yeah, and I think the technology uh, has moved on, the adhesive has moved on, and and all the rest of it. But only time will tell with these. But. Uh, We've decided on these and that's what we're obviously what we're going to go with. Our first reason for wanting this type of low profile stick on panel was because we've got an enclosed bow and we wanted a, a clear walkway all the way down. Um, you can also walk on these panels but we're going to avoid that. If we yeah, don't yeah. We, don't know, yeah. We only need to walk down the middle. There's plenty of room. But if we did step onto them, uh, it wouldn't hurt. Yeah. There's loads of information on the internet about uh, the solar panels and how they work. Um, so if you are going for these, do your research and make sure that they're the ones that are right for you. Uh, for us, they were. For others, they may not be. In the eight years we were travelling, we've always had solar to keep us going. Um, a lot less than what we've decided on here, and it's been fine. So we've decided to go with four panels, 120 watt, watts each, um, and we think that would be fine, but time will tell. Okay. 
up Chattanooga, boy, had a dollar and a dime. I headed out to Nashville on the hard rock line. I'm working on that old steamboat and I learned to ride the steam. When my feet had touched dry land, how happy I did feel. Saving every penny for to make up through the fall. Working for that dollar, but it never adds up at all. But coming around the river banker, the old train was so sane. The very next thing you hear from me, I've been tied to a ball and chain. And I don't know where I'll be, but if it wasn't for that old sheriff, I'll be right next one. Well, come this time tomorrow. Reckon I don't know where I'll be, but if it wasn't for that old sheriff, I'd be back in Tennessee. Playing cards and crap games, not looking for the score. And if I ever get back home again, I'll never own no to my son. You may not know better, but I know you know right from wrong. I had a top tip from Chris at Ovation Boats, and he said when you're fitting these, make sure that you apply pressure down the centre of the panel first, and then work your way to each side, just to keep any air bubbles from being created under the panel. And uh, so far it has worked. They say from the middle out, not running across, can't you? Works. Yeah. The paintwork in the areas where the panels are being fixed has had a uh, good uh, three or four weeks to cure, so we know that it's a good surface to stick the panels down to. And we also give it a really good clean. So we'd made extra holes for the um, solar. For the solar, when we put these up, so we can now pull it through.
would have been easier doing it the other way, but because we've cut it, we already pull it up. So this is the cable that runs between the two panels. Right, okay. Links on the port side, two panels together. Yeah. So it's just a short piece between the two panels. ones of which when we connect them up but I'll have to go to the top and move all up and down and then mark it and then you'll tell me which is which yeah so we've mount, we've wired the panels in series parallel which basically means you've got a string of panels on one side of the boat a string of panels on the other and that each side of the boat is wired in series um, yeah that's right so then that ups the voltage on each string, keeps the ampage the same. But then what you do, you run those two series strings back down to the controller, the MPPT controller, and then the wired into the MPPT controller in parallel. So when you do that, that when they're wired back in parallel at the MPPT, it increases the ampage as well. So you've increased the voltage at the string but then the ampage is increased when they're joined together in parallel at the MPPT controller. Mm. Yeah. Right. Got that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Well, that's my interpretation of it anyway. So <laughs> I'll just stand here and get my tin out and be prepared to be shot down by everybody. But oh, anyway, there you go.
and dad. Mm, it's lovely, isn't it? So a bit more of the colour going on. Um, and this is Tropic Blue by Symphony Paints. Um, and a lot of the boat is going to be painted this colour with the aqua green in the panels. Last week one of our viewers asked whether we had problems with insects sticking on the paint. Um, so far we haven't, they seem to land but walk along and just crawl off or fly off again. So, so far we've been alright then Steve. He's not stuck or yet so he's still walking around. So if I just zoom in, you can see that there's a slight texture on the handrail. We never flattened that completely down because we didn't want the handrail to be too slippy. But for the rest of the paint, we're going to do um, a real good sand to try and smooth it before we put the top coat on. So far, so good with this Undassa tape. Um, yeah, best so far, really, isn't it? The yeah. Undassa stuff. Nice clean line on there, yeah. Looking forward to getting the sides painted now. Um, this has all been a bit of an experiment and we've been binge watching John Barnard on YouTube for the last few weeks and hopefully we've picked up a few tips to help us on our way. For the very thin line that we wanted to have no texture against the aqua um, handrail. Uh, we used Undassa tape again. This tape was um, more of a vinyl, more like yeah. a, a electrical tape, yeah. um, but still done a really good job. And all that's left to do is to fix everything down. And for this, we're using a combination of butyl tape as like a gasket, and then the CT1 seal around the outside. Why 
painful watching AD put this on um, he had to get it exactly right and yeah. exactly neat yeah. whereas I would have just rolled it in a sausage and rolled it around the edge um, but no I've, I've cut out about half an hour of him doing that um, <laughs> <laughs> but he was, he was pleased with it in the end <laughs> I told him to leave the squeeze out um, but I keep seeing him wandering down the gunnel, <laughs> looking at it. Uh, I know that there's going to be... Keep watching all the future ones <laughs> and then you'll, you'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be trimmed off. Yeah. I don't think his head could cope with any more butyl tape, so he's gone straight for the CT1 on these glands. You don't realise how traumatised I was at school with the plasticine. <laughs> <laughs> so this is for the internet aerial. Antenna, yeah. Antenna. Yeah. Antenna. Um, and so these glands just help keep it... Watertight, where the cables enter, down. where the cables come through and into the boat, yeah. Mm. Yeah. On all the others, we put some masking tape around the edge, um, save all this cleaning. Yep. Is that for the yellow tape? Is the yellow tape got to go on that one? Okay. No, I'll, I'll do it now. Is the other one coming up? Yep. Got it. This tape seems to be uh, good quality as well. It's from just from Tool Station, and it's labelled up as Pro Deck Advanced. And uh, yeah, I've been really pleased with it so far. What we've used it for, anyway. We'll probably use some of that on the sides. On the well. sides as well. Yeah, we'll give it a go with the masking out on the side panels with the painting on the side of the bow.
So what is this testing for? Just seeing which way round the panels are with the positive and negative is really. So same as what you did on the last bit? Yeah, put that in there look. And it reads, yeah, 33.2. But if you put it the other way, it's the same but with a negative got a negative symbol there yeah okay. so we know that it's that way around that's the positive for the red okay that's the positive side going into there so that one the tape on is going to go into that one okay Cables won't be connected until all the batteries are in. So all that was left to do was get the internet back up and running. Yeah. So a little bit of um, fiddling about and a little bit of soldering. Um, not good for my sausage fingers. <laughs> that, eh? There's fine things like that are not good for plumber gas man fingers, but yeah. This but it is, worked. Yeah, this is just say just a little. Uh, I think they call it an SMA or SM, SM, yeah, I think it's SMA connector that just goes onto the back of the router. So just soldering the little pin connector into there, and you'll see it anyway what, what I'm doing. that's all done now um, we've just got to carry on painting the hatch so we've just rubbed it all down ready for the next coats to go on mm -hmm. 